I just got home from work. The baby calf here isn't doing very good. It was pretty cold last night. When I checked on these two new calves, they were doing all right, but got home from work today and this one wasn't doing very well. So we're gonna take him back up to the house and see if we can't get him feeling better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drench this calf. So what that is is it's pretty much just a tube. You stick down their throat, and he goes into their belly and you give them a lot of warm liquid. And I'm gonna give him a, I don't know, a couple quarts of colostrum. I know he's a day or so. Well, he's about a day old now. So the colostrum might not help a whole lot, but we'll start with that and see what happens. So what I'm gonna do first is mix up my colostrum mix in this red mixing bowl. Cause then I can use the whisk and get it real, really mixed up. And I, I like getting the water pretty warm. Not scalding hot, but you know, warm enough that it helps that calf warm up. And I just use the bottle to measure with. And, Try to mix it up the best I can because if I have pumps in there, it'll plug up that that tube. So those, clump, those chunks will get stuck in the end there and it won't flow very well. Let's see if I can pour it in here without losing a bunch of it. Okay, so what I gotta do is get this tube down this calf's throat. The bottle's leaking a little bit. So you go in here, and to start off with, you find where the windpipe is, and you can feel it. It feels just like your our own windpipe. It's got kind of the ridges on it. So you stick this tube down his throat, kind of follow it down, and you wanna make sure you're to the left of that windpipe. There we go. So just make sure to fill that windpipe and make sure you're to the left of it. So like I said, when I was putting that in there, I was just filling his windpipe and you just make sure you can feel that tube going down next to his windpipe on the left side there. You know you got it in the right spot because if you if you put it down his windpipe and put it into his lungs, it'll, it'll drown him pretty much instantly. So we'll, we'll put this into him. And I got a little bit left back in that sink, so I'll probably go top this off again. Probably get about halfway full and put the rest of it into him. Then we'll throw him in the bathtub and see if we can't get him warmed up. All right, we'll go get the rest of that claustrum and get that in there. Okay. That's it for the claustrum. Let's get him in some hot water. So we'll just soak him in this hot water for a while. He's pretty far gone. So hopefully with us soaking him in this warm water, it'll bring his core body temperature back up and 
<clears throat> get him warmed up again. And I'll probably keep him in here for maybe an hour, two hours. And as the water cools off, I'll just put some more hot water in and I'll keep dumping warm water on him and keep him soaked. So, wish us luck. So we've been in here about, about an hour now. He's still not really doing all that great. He still doesn't have any strength. He doesn't have strength enough to hold up his own head. We'll just keep him in here a little bit longer. See if he starts to pull out of it. I know, I'm sure my wife loves me using our bathtub to put these newborn calves in. I've had to do it before though. And she's, she's a pretty good sport about it. So you guys, I have some bad news. We lost that calf in the tub last night. I didn't have much faith that we'd be able to bring him back, but at least we gave it a try. He just he didn't make it. I felt him, I felt him die right between my legs. You know, I kept him in the tub and was trying to warm him up and he gave that last little shudder and you know, like the, he gave that last little death twitch, I guess you'd call it, and, and he quit breathing. So that was kind of a, that was kind of a sad deal. I always hate losing calves and it's real hard when you try to save them and they don't make it. That's the hard thing about having a full-time job off the ranch is, you know, I can't be here all the time to watch these calves and make sure they get up and going. And that's what happens sometimes. I, I lose a few because I'm not right there to make sure they get up and start sucking. So some of you might be wondering, why do I, why do I calve in February and March? And the reason for that is in the summer, our cows go up on the range here on these west hills so from june to mid-october they'll be up on the forest there we have forest permits and they'll graze up there all summer and so we send them out june 6th and when we send them out i like to have all my cows calved out and it's always nice to have them bred back because it's such a big space up there that sometimes your your cows don't get bred back the way you'd hope and you end up with a lot of open cows so that's one of the reasons we calve so early. And another reason is all this snow that we get in the winter, it'll eventually melt. And it usually starts to melt towards the end of March and April. So all this snow will eventually turn to mud. So I feel like you're choosing between you know two evils here. You can either calve in January and February and deal with the cold, or you can calve in March and April and deal with the mud and the wetness and I feel like we have better luck dealing with the cold because at least it's fairly dry in January and February and you're not dealing with all that mud and the rain and all the filth that comes with it. But, you know, on the other hand, you have to deal with the, those below zero days and sometimes you lose a few calves. But it feels like sometimes in the spring, those March and April months, you deal with a lot of sickness and lose calves that way too. So I don't know. I don't know what the best way to do it is. This is the way that we do it, and it seems like it works out all right for the most part. So if we didn't have those forest permits and we didn't send our cows up on the range come June, I'd probably wait and I probably wouldn't calve till May and June to get out of the snow and have the grass coming up. But since we go out on the forest, like I said, I'd like to have them all calved out and hopefully bred back before we go out there. So there's a little bit of information for you guys if you're wondering why we calf so early here and that's the reason so this is a kind of a sadder video but that's the stuff that happens around here on a ranch and not every calf is going to live you have some good years where all your calves live but then you have some bad years where you lose a few so anyway hope you guys got some information out of this video and have a good day and we'll talk to you all later